Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to film a whole bunch of tags, so many of the tags that you will see in the future from today. I apologize once again for the crappy lighting and the fact that there's thunder outside, but I have no control over the weather. I mean, as much as, as I might have convinced a few people that I am godlike, I really don't have any control over the weather. Frame this a little bit better? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like, I don't like my framing today, I'm sorry. So, today we are going to be doing, to start, the Behind the Booktube tag. What's behind the booktube? It's me! I'm behind all of booktube. Way behind. So far behind you can't even see me. This apparently was created by Kate Lindsay. Links in the doobly-doo, I am sure. If I forget, just prod at me. But this is a tag, obviously, for booktubers to figure out how they do the thing. That is the booktubing the voodoo that we do so well. Now, obviously every booktuber is different and many of them use different things so this video is to no way insinuate that my setup and my way of doing things is the right way. Okay? Okay. Okay the first question is what kind of camera do you use and for my vlogs I use what I figured out is the Evrio hybrid camera I believe. I just looked for pictures that look like my camera online and this is the closest one. Don't worry, I will be showing you an image of it. Perhaps I already am, but this is the camera that I use. It's older. I don't remember when I got it, but I got it many years ago. Um, originally, I wanted to use it to film some rehearsals of the plays we were doing, um, and I did use it for that, but then I started, you know, vlogging, and it, it just works great for that. I chose this one specifically because it does have a good mic in it, so I feel like it picks up my voice pretty well and it would pick up the voices of the actors on stage pretty well. So that was originally why I chose it, but otherwise I am really not a camera expert. I just let the camera guy at the store tell him, I was like, I want my camera to do these things, and he was like, okay, here's the camera that will do these things. But like I said, it's really old camera now. It still works though. I, I love it. It's my baby. Second question is, do you use any additional equipment such as lights, mics, tripods, etc.? Obviously I do use a tripod. I have one tripod which I normally use for vlogs because it's broken in such a way that it's exactly the right height for me to vlog with. Uh, and I have another tripod that is newer that I got recently, but I don't like to use it as much because it's really tall, A, and B, the foot keeps falling off, which is super annoying. So mostly I use that one when I'm filming outdoors, or I'm doing a larger project such as one of my AmpGuard projects, and I want to have multiple cameras, then I will have both tripods in action. Both tripods are slightly broken in some way. If it still works, I will use it to death. I don't use any extra lights, which is probably quite obvious. Normally I just use the light that is in my room. And ambient light from the window, which isn't happening today because it is thunderstorm. I would like to get maybe like one of those umbrella lights eventually, but I am not in a hurry. I personally don't mind videos that aren't immaculately lit and that kind of bleached android look that some booktubers, not all, but some booktubers who use professional lights get this sort of almost uncanny valley look when they use like too much lights um, and so I don't want that. So I'd rather just have me looking a little bit more natural with the crappy lights. And obviously I don't use an extra mic because... I have a good one on my camera. However, if I'm doing voiceovers for Let's Plays and such, I use a Yeti mic, which I do not have a pop guard for. I need to buy one. Anyway, Cat is pushing my tripod around. Clearly, the real additional equipment that I use is cats who like to reframe my shots for me by bumping my tripod. The next question is scripted or spontaneous? Well, I find that myself and a lot of other booktubers use a combination. I have a notebook, actually I've gone through a couple of notebooks by now. This is the one I'm currently using. And I write down, like say, the questions. And I draw a picture of a little horsey probably. And uh, any information that I need for whatever I'm doing. If it's a book review, I write down all of my talking points. But I allow myself some room for improvisation. I don't memorize a script, nor do I have like a script in front of me anywhere. Number four, how many takes do you take while filming? I film all one cons I film everything as one long take, essentially. I don't stop and start. 
but I do a lot of editing, as you probably noticed there often, a lot of jump cuts. And honestly, that's because I'm lazy. I could do a lot of cuts and make it look all really perfect and polished, but I prefer to just go in and nip it up in editing because I actually really enjoy video editing. It's one of my favorite things to do, and so I much prefer to just deal with it in the editing process. Number five, if you use music, where do you find it? The majority of my music just comes from YouTube's free music. Um, I have had trouble in the past, which we won't speak of, with YouTube and music, so I just use their music because I know I can't go wrong with that. Right? Right, YouTube? Please? But I do like to have a little music going on under my videos for whatever reason, I just do. Number six, how do you make your thumbnails? I usually, within my video editor, there is an option where I can like take a snapshot of whatever's on my screen. So I just go ahead and wait until I make a funny face somewhere in my video and take a snapshot of it. Which is easy because I'm really funny looking and I have a really expressive face. The blessing and a curse, really. And then obviously I add things to it like book covers or whatever and I do all of that in, in paint because I'm, again, really lazy. Number seven is what do you use to edit? What program do you use to edit? I am using, I just switched from my Sony Vegas 11, I just upgraded it to Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13. And I quite like it, um, maybe it's just because it's what I'm familiar with, but it allows me to be nitpicky and allows me to do all of the little things that you probably don't even notice I do. I hope you don't even notice I do because if it's good editing, it all flows together and you don't, you're not thinking about, well, how did they do that? So I do a lot of interesting little nitpicky things with it and I like it. I wish I could do more special effects with it sometimes, but it definitely suits my needs as far as vlogging and booktubing goes. Plus, I can have more than one instance of it open and it doesn't crash. So that's a really good situation. Number eight is any tips, tricks, etc. Um, I would say just like editing a story, if any of you are writers, remember editing your videos to take out unnecessary and repetitive stuff. I know I missed some stuff, but you guys have no idea how rambly I can be. Like, I cut it way back. I know, I know, hard to believe, but I cut it way back when I edit. And I try to remind myself, my audience will get the point the first time I say something. I don't need to repeat it. So if I find myself repeating a point, in several places in the video, I cut out all of the other ones. Also, I cut out all of the times that I'm touching my face because I am such a face toucher and you guys have no idea how many times I touch my face during these videos. So annoying. <sighs> and number nine, what do you think makes a good video from a production standpoint? Uh, I can be a little bit picky sometimes about the videos that I watch. I know, I know, I'm terrible, but if you have really crappy audio. I'm talking really crappy audio. Like, I have to not be able to hear you. I will give you a good chance if your audio is kind of crappy, but I can still hear and understand you. But if you're too quiet, which is a problem for me because I have hearing loss, so if you are too quiet, or your audio is just, it sounds like you're down a well in Albuquerque, I will not watch. Also, framing for me is a big deal. I know a lot of people use webcams or even use their phones and they position the camera in such a way as we are looking like directly up their nose. And that is not a good look for anyone. Please, please, please think about the framing of your shot, what you want the, your viewers to be seeing and focusing on, because your nose hair is not what it should be. I also have this really weird, weird nitpick that a lot of like more professional booktubers do this, where they crop their shot so it chops off the top of their head. So like, what I end up staring at is like their chin throat area. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's because they want to make sure their boobs are in the shot. I really, I honestly, that's just speculation. I have no idea. But I do not like that. I feel like your whole, your whole head, at least, should be in your shot. I feel like. Maybe that's just me. So that was my Behind the Booktube tag. 
Maybe someday I'll get some good equipment and my answers will change, but until then, that's what I'm working with for right now. So, I don't really have anyone specific that I want to tag, mostly because all of the people that I watch have kind of already done this. So if you are watching me, and you are a booktuber, definitely do this tag and then let me know so I can come watch you. If I'm not already, because I might be. I love, I love finding new booktubers, it's like one of my passions. I will check out at least two of your videos, if not subscribe. And as I always say, if you like what you see here today, like, subscribe, blah, 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 but please share it with your friends if you value anything that I have bestowed upon you in my wisdom. Share it with your friends wherever... I don't make sense. I don't make sense. You probably don't want your friends to, to know that you watch this. I'm sorry. I'll go now. You'll see me again in this whenever you see me again. Bye!